With the rise of industrial, residential, and even commercial construction projects, new materials and technologies are being introduced every day. This is so vital to surpass construction timeline. Now a new construction innovation zone looks to connect startups with global construction companies. This is helping create this community to drive innovation. Here to talk with me about it is Uzi Sheffer, CEO of SOSA. Uzi, welcome to the show. Hi, thank you for having me. Susie, let's talk a little bit what's been going on. How did you guys actually start SOSA and what's that all about? Well, SOSA is a global network of uh, innovators. Uh, that basically uh, um, help startups with access to investors and to the global market. And on the other side, provides corporations with direct and first access to innovation. Uh, it all started in, uh, in Tel Aviv. We opened the doors about uh, three and a half years ago. Um, it's a unique uh, platform and collaboration between uh, uh, the people, the pioneers and leaders of the high-tech industry in Israel so managing partners of the biggest VCs, funds, uh, angel investors, serial entrepreneurs, um, top executives in the industry, they created this place together so that the entire ecosystem has a place where it can come and, uh, and do business. And right now, when you look at that in Tel Aviv, you have a lot of great startups when you're looking at things that are happening in construction. Let's talk about that right now. Yeah, so, um, so construction... Uh, Basically, construction is, a, is an industry and a vertical where we, in the last year, year and a half, have identified a huge opportunity for entrepreneurs and for investors. So uh, what would be the challenge for the traditional industry would be an opportunity for uh, investors and, uh, and for entrepreneurs. And the purpose uh, of the program that we launched is really to bridge the gap between the high-tech industry and the construction industry. Now, in Israel, these are the two largest industries. With, uh, with very little connection and very little synergy between, uh, uh, between these two industries. I would, I would uh, uh, um, uh, think that in many other countries in the world, it, uh, it's quite the same. And, and the construction industry, uh, with all its supply chain, starting from planning, constructing, uh, inspecting, and the regulators as well, they have uh, huge pain points where we already see technologies today that can solve many of these problems. That, that was the background, basically, so are you, for launching this program. Are you seeing a lot of use of innovative technology? You're seeing these great new startups with these young millennials who have creative ideas of applying technology? So it's a mix. It's a mix. We already see startups coming up to solve problems in this industry. But one of the purposes of the program that we launched is to bring these two industries together so that more entrepreneurs form startups for this industry, so that investors can hear firsthand from the industry the pain points and challenges, and then have more confidence in the solutions where entrepreneurs come to raise money for, and where we also, as facilitator and as the operator of the program, can also help startups pivot their product from other industries to this industry. Because anything which is supply chain management, predictive analytics, predictive maintenance, uh, all the world of big data, uh, AI and machine learning that can be used for planning and automated planning for maybe 80 or 90 percent of the process. These are all technologies that exist. Uh, everything which is, uh, um, well, we already see uh, startups today based on drones, for example. So autonomous drones, either measuring or performing automated inspections uh, that save a lot of uh, manual work effort and and. and uh, and, uh, and are able to identify errors in the construction in nearly real time. So it's a mix of existing solutions that need help to get to the construction industry and providing access to the construction industry, to technologies, while supporting the formation of new startups. So do you see a lot of, when you talk about this, uh, the advancement of machine control, artificial intelligence, these kind of technologies being blended with this creative development of these startups, taking technology to places beyond what we use already in BIM and some of the technologies in the supply chain to things we haven't even thought of right now? Yeah, so we see the, the entire mix. And, and I can share with you that for us, we are a very result-oriented platform. So we also, we, it's important for us to see results in the first year of operation when we start innovation programs in certain industries. 
So we onboard startups and solutions which represent a mix of quick wins or solutions that are easy to implement, anything from uh, project management, which, which can optimize a lot, a lot of the work of, of construction companies. And, and through, uh, let's say, mid-level uh, difficulty for implementation autonomous drones, up to more disruptive stuff that will probably be implemented two, three years ahead, like uh, 3D printing, which are startup, art, startups that are a combination of uh, materials, hardware, and software, and, uh, and more complex uh, um, startup in, in the world of big data. Have you had some successes right now with a few startups that you're seeing really start to take shape? We launched the program two months ago, and, and one of the company, one of the company uh, um, building, which is actually creating a, a marketplace and an ecosystem for developers and future residents to communicate and engage uh, one with each other, have already a, a pilot, a signed pilot with a project with 3,000 uh, residential units. So, uh, so that's great. And, uh, and uh, we, we'll see more coming in the upcoming months. Uzi, can you explain how this also all got started? Yeah, so actually this program is backed by the Israeli government, by the Ministry of Housing and the Ministry of Economy, and by the Israeli Builders Association. Um, the government involvement in sparking innovation in Israel is a model that had been uh, successfully implemented in the automotive industry, for example, and now the government is looking for additional verticals um, to support the creation of technology communities. Um, they chose as SOSA um, to uh, run this program uh, because that, that's our business. So we connect supply and demand in different traditional industries. Well, I think it's really exciting. How can our, list, our viewers here that we have get in touch with either on being investors or actually wanting to be a part of the startups? So they are very welcome to get in touch with us. Just go online to our website, SOSA, that's S-O-S-A dot C-O. And we have a page for the construction tech program and we'll be happy to get in touch. Uzi, thank you so much for being with us today. We appreciate all your time. That's our innovation and technology. Thanks again. Thank you for having me. Bye-bye.